Hello, and welcome to another Scalable Software Tutorial. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the Image Masking Panel using our software. The purpose of the Image Masking Panel is to cut out or remove unneeded areas of the screen. This feature is useful when cutouts are needed on screen in the final image, like blacking out the front of a cockpit. This process is normally done when a data collection and a normal calibration have been completed. To start, open the scalable software and go to the image masking panel. Next, determine the area that needs to be masked out. If you have a larger wide screen, it may be beneficial to increase the mask resolution before beginning. Changing the resolution will reset the mask, so it's advisable to test the resolution beforehand. Use the slider for width and height to adjust the mask resolution. The default resolution is set to 2048 by 2048. Try to aim for a resolution that roughly matches the aspect ratio of your screen. Often, a mask that is half or a quarter of your total screen resolution is sufficient. Using extremely high resolution masks is rarely necessary and can increase calibration time and file size. Click on the apply icon to apply the changes. Repeat this process until you determine the correct mask resolution for your system. Once you have established your mask resolution, select an edit mode that suits your system. Edit the mask image until you are satisfied. Using the shape edit mode, create the initial shape, the rectangle, by clicking and dragging the points. You can move the shape by clicking and dragging the corners. You are able to add new corners by clicking along the segment. Convert a corner into a curved line by hitting the spacebar once. If you would like to revert the image back, click on the spacebar again. To make precise adjustments, make sure that you adjust the brush size and use the zoom function. Press the enter button to apply the mask once you have finished editing the shape. Use the plus and minus icon to add and subtract the current mask when you are making modifications. When using cursor edit mode, draw directly on the image by left clicking on your mouse and then dragging with the mouse. Make sure to adjust the brush size and use the zoom function when trying to make precise adjustments. After completing the editing process, click the Update Calibration button to apply the changes to the system. If you exit the panel without clicking this button, the changes will not take effect. However, you will not lose any of your edits. To facilitate image masking, you may choose any of the test images, as those are your available stock options. If you would like to upload your own test image, you can click the Browse for Image File button and select your own desired file. To test the entire image with the scalable GUI hidden, simply click on the Hide Window icon. If you wish to revert back to the original test image, you can do so by clicking on the Restore Default button. If you have any issues, please contact the support team. That's all we have for this video. We hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time.